Hey guys, welcome back everybody. What's popping? Also, I didn't mean to end that very abruptly, but anyways, fuck it, Undertale. So here's what's going on with this. So if you guys have seen me stream this prior, they still haven't patched that thing? Um, yeah, so this is gonna be the pacifist run of this game now. Um, I did a neutral run the first time around, and I guess now I can finally dive into a little bit more of like why I kind of did that, because uh, if this is your first time with this game, I don't want to get like too spoilery, and I still might hold off on like a couple of details, but I feel like, you know, I mean, this isn't my first run of Undertale, but I feel like when a lot of people were, you know, streaming this game when it first came out and it was like really going through that first wave of popularity. Also, I can skip this. Hold that thought. Let's actually start the game so I can like do some playing while we're at it. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. So I've completed the game on neutral, that is. So as you can see here, there's an option to reset. Let's do that. <gasps> Goodbye, name. What do you mean a name has... Griff, no, Griff, yes. Do I keep the name? Delete the name? What am I no at or yesing to? Yes, Griff? Griff, yes. Yes, Griff. Let's do it. I think? How's that work? Well, here we are, burning. <laughs> okay. So resuming that thought. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, oh, hold on. You know, I had- What if you walked into this room and Fly Flabby was doing, like, the Lucky Luciano pose? <laughs> hey! Remember! Don't kill anyone! I can't believe this is a real thing I have to remind you. <laughs> Good luck! Oh, I thought she was, like, floating down, but she's just walking from across the room. Uh, hello, are you alright? You must be so lost and confused. Ah, oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Wait, blue name? What does blue name mean? I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. I'll do my best to protect you during your time here. Uh, come, I shall guide you through the catacombs. Can I finish this thought already? Are these circles not centered? This is occurring to me just now. Um, but yeah, you, I think something that's like really noticeable is that a lot of people will be like oh I, I do the pacifist run first and, and then they like yell at anybody who does neutral um also there goes my save file but i think that doing neutral and then kind of just like discovering about the pacifist run because you don't know to do the pacifist run until flowey tells you to do it at the end of the neutral run and then you try again which is like a huge kind of learning moment in the game, and I feel like that a lot of people in the Undertale community, you know what, this is the same now as it was before, we'll skip through a couple of these things. We'll kind of fast forward through the ruins and maybe get a bit more into the dialogue um, once, you know, our paths begin to diverge and we get some new experiences. But like, it feels like a lot of viewers, I guess, of Undertale streams didn't seem to- also this is very loud, hold on. Oh yeah, this is still like Alan Wake levels. Let me turn this down to, like... Eh? Let's go with minus three. That ought to do it! Um, but yeah, it feels like a lot of people didn't, like, consider that a spoiler. Which sucks, because, you know... I, I mean, I was able to have that organic experience, because I played this game by myself in 2015, believe it or not. Oh, I need to press this, don't I? Yeah, okay. That ought to do it! Um, but it, it's a shame that that's, like, kind of... Like, do, the fact that I'm doing a neutral run and then a pacifist run is, like, a really, like, unusual thing to do, I feel like. There's not many other playthroughs that do that. You know, it's like, oh, you gotta do the pacifist run. And you have to follow, like, like this specific set of rules and this specific set of triggers, and it's like, nah, man. That's not how the game's meant to be played, I don't think. I mean, anyone can have an argument about, you know, what's quote-unquote intended, what, what the intended play experience is. But I think that, you know... Th this is the best way to go about it. I think this is the best experience. Even though I've already played it, I think r even re-following these steps... I gotta talk to this dummy. Um, so we can't even fight the dummy. Let's... Just, I mean, I think we tried talking to it before. I think we did, like, a little bit of attacking and a little bit of talking with this dummy the first time around. I won! Um, but you know what I mean? Uh, so a a as this goes on, only we get, like, a little bit more into that particular thought. But again, if this is maybe... Why are you here? <laughs> if this is your first time seeing Undertale uh, in this stream, what's wrong with you? But yeah, yeah but like... 
I don't want to like say things assuming that everybody already knows what this game is, uh, especially because all things considered, this did come out on the Switch fairly recently, so I'm sure there's like a whole new audience that they're reaching as a result. So anyways, if you don't know what a pacifist run is, um, at, you should check out the previous streams of this game. I've, did, I've done a full neutral run, and I think it's pretty important that you check that out before hopping into this one. But if you already know what the game is, then sure, hop in now. Sure, why not? Um, but now we can't kill any of the enemies. So every enemy in this game has other means of like overcoming these battles through, um, I guess, conflict resolution. So I believe this one wants to be complimented. Froggy didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyways. Oh, there's the stink eye. Oh, shit. Okay. I did it. But I'm not getting any gold. Should I be? I don't think you get any gold this early in the game. Is she gonna help me again, or is this a, like a pacifist trick? Oh, I have to talk to her. Dummy. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Okay, it's the same as before. But that's good, because this is a cute moment. You must be a good boy now. It's true! <sighs> I was gonna, like, pull out a, a picture of Keaton and say, speaking of good boys, but I cleared my, my sources in OBS the other night, so now I don't have them. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I really, I really like, like, the expression uh, that they make when they turn to the camera. I guess by they, I mean me. <gasps> oh no. Toriel, wow, how could you do this to me, Toriel? I gave you seven minutes of my life. So here's a fun little trick. So if you, like, hold on. As you continue walking down this room and then you eventually reach the end, you, you may notice something. This room is longer than I remember it being. Hello? Okay, look at this. <laughs> in, the, in the neutral run that we did, she kind of just, you know, hops out and she's just there. But if you walk up to it, you can see that she's hiding behind it. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Uh, please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? I do gotta be a good boy now. Look at that. Also, Toriel's theme is great. <gasps> Hello? This is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I've yet to explain. It'd be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good. Hell not. <laughs> Hell no. But the candy. I like how pissed Sans was at the end of that last run. Oh my god, I, I totally forgot about that. You're right. Froggit hopped close. See, so we can't just fight our way through this. We gotta compliment our way through this. Blushes deeply. Ribbit, ooh woo. Okay. See, so I think the last time Toriel kind of just glared at the Froggit and then they went away. But now... We gotta use the mercy option, and only the mercy option. If you use anything else, then, uh... Damn, I can't who let the dogs in these ruins? <laughs> Am I right? Just chat. Um, so yeah, we've already done this, but hey, uh, narrative importance aside, it's just handy to, to take this stuff. I'm curious to see, though, kind of like, how disgusting. <laughs> I'm curious to see uh, how, I mean, we're doing a passive run, so obviously it's gonna differ, but just considering that I haven't, like, you know, played this in a hot minute, um, how else it's gonna differ, you know? Because there's, aside from just the battle aspect, there's, like, so many more choices that you can make, just, like, in terms of, uh, like, progressing the game, I suppose. So, um, I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. Okay. So as you can see with these froggit dudes, it's pretty easy to spare, so... For now, it's easy. But if you remember last time, when we first came to Toriel, things didn't work out so well. It was it was maybe a little tough to... It, it seemed... Emphasis, it seemed that we couldn't do any sparing at all. But that's the thing, there's always a way, so... We'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens, wink wink. Hopefully Sans won't be mad at us this time. Hopefully he won't do the Fortnite dance on us. Whoa! For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? 
cinnamon, or butterscotch? Vote now in your phones. Hmm. I think I said cinnamon last time. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> I can't wait to see how it differs. Immediately does the same thing. <laughs> I often feel like I already know them. The Truthfully, when I first saw you, I felt like I was seeing an old friend for the first time. Oh! <gasps> I was kind of skipping through that because I thought it was repeat dialogue, but okay, here's the thing. So when, as you can see, like, at the very beginning of the game, when Flyer, like, approached us, approached us, approached us, <laughs> you can already tell that it kind of, like, remembers, with air quotes, your previous playthrough. So we didn't technically reset it. Um, because this is our second playthrough, now there are going to be things that differ from our first run. And you guys will see more stuff like that as this progresses. Um... Yeah, okay. This, however, is a repeat. Yeah, okay. There's a way to, like, skip the timing on this. But I forget what it is. I think there's, like, a, 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 a floggy that tells you about it um, a little later in the ruins, but for now we'll have to, to figure it out on our own. This dude can just be spared right off the bat, it looks like. No, not monster candy. That's mine. No sharing, please. Nice. Cool! Hello? I mean, I got a gluten allergy, but... Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Yeah, okay. Fellas, some weird shit has been... See, I wonder if I can rem memorize this now. It's like all the way down, a little bit to the right, then up, then to the flowers, then down, then right... Well, haven't fallen yet. Technically. And then to the right, to the corner, and then up. Yaka! Okay, cool. <gasps> Fwoggy? Okay, so here's the thing, because some enemies are easier than others, so Froggit's still gonna require some buttering up, to say the least. Froggit hops to and fro. Oh, this dude's a jumper, you can tell. <laughs> okay. Dad ought to do it! See, with these dudes, you can just press A, a to, like, skip the dialogue, but it's, like, different, because it's not like a box. Okay, there we go. Yo, this game rocks, haha. <laughs> okay. As- oh, it's B? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Speaking of pumpkins, it's a Halloween! We got one of those earlier today. I don't- fellas, chat? What am I- what, what should I do for the Jack of Lantern? Cause, I don't know. The carving is yet to occur. I haven't done one in like a few years, but you know what? That's gonna be nice, I think. Change their season. Yo, that mouse is as squeaky as ever. Yo, he's a squeaker, you can tell. It fills you with determination. Wow. You. Okay, hello. My friend. Yeah, we all know how this plays out. I think we spared this one the last time as well, too. Uh, but we will not... I guess we'll try. I don't know. Oh, shit. Here comes Pac-Man. I wonder, like, how many of the, the same jokes I'm gonna end up making at some of this dialogue. Okay, right off the bat, though, I believe cheering is the best option here. You gave Napster look a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> Not them personnel, kid. Oh, this stuff is still tough to avoid, though. Napster look looks just a little bit better. You told Napster look a little joke. Yo, we got two heads? Not really feeling up to it right now, sorry. Yo, that was me yesterday. Yeah, so I'll tell you what, though, because... I feel like a couple months ago, I mentioned, like, this thing I do <laughs> where sometimes, like, I'll wake up from, like, a dream and I'll be, like, speaking aloud, like, talking in my sleep, right? But, like, as if I'm streaming something. <laughs> like, I'll wake up doing, like, streaming commentary <laughs> on my dreams. And, uh, because I took the night off, it that seems to have <laughs> returned in full force. Um, Napster look eagerly away. Yo, that's lit. Where's the lit button? I guess cheer again. Oh, gee. <gasps> the, the lone tears. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Wow. Wow. Oh, right, the spiders. Uh, yeah, let's do it. You know, we don't have any fucking gold. So here's the thing, though, too. Because in a neutral run, typically you're gonna end up getting, uh, more, well, obviously more XP and more gold. Um, just from, like, you know, doing the battles as battles? Um, you can battle against people you don't know. 
<laughs> but, you know, obviously, you can't do any leveling up because you only get XP from defeating enemies, and gold is like, it's kind of up in the air. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't, and even if you do, it might be less, so... Uh, you kind of have to be a little bit smarter with how you use it, as opposed to the last one, where we could be pretty, um, generous, I guess, with how we were spending things. But yes, I did not eat the spider bake sale. Or, I, rather, I didn't miss the spider bake sale. I had plenty of eating. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using borders can add some color to the world. Yeah, so when, when we set the preferences, there isn't a frog-themed border. It's true, so it's just pointless. Damn, called out. I think we can spare the both of these guys, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the dancing dude. Yo, he's a dancer, you can tell. Yeah. So we, we already know how that works from, like, the last run. Um, Migasp only is sparable when there's no other enemies around, so you kind of have to, like, spare everybody else first. Undertale, again? Didn't you Epic Gamer Flowey enough yet? <laughs> hey, it's Porter. Hello! I just realized that it has been a while since I cleaned up. I was not expecting to have to company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. Oh, true that. We had a lot of inventory troubles the last time around. Ooh, I wonder if I'm gonna remember which one of these is the lever hole. There is a lever! Look around! Oh shit! <laughs> I flew right past it, but hey, naps to look. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Oh wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. I don't know if I did that the first time around. Sorry for forsaking you, Napster Book. I'm so sorry. Oh, good more meme game. Hey, Circaboon. Guys, Undertale's good. Leave it alone. Also, hello, subscribers. Guess what I found out today? So there was a thread um, in the Twitch sub- I think we can just do like a double spare here, right? Yeah, this is the same combination as last time, so we're just gonna watch this guy strut his stuff and then spare. Hooray! But yeah, I was in the Twitch subreddit earlier today, and there was like s some dude, I guess, who was like an affiliate, and he was like, hey, um, is it normal for my payout to be this low? And I was like, well, I don't see anything wrong with this. That's the same payout that I'm getting. And then I realized I may have to resubmit some some tax documents because apparently I'm getting like extra fees on, on subscription revenue. And uh, oops, turns out I'm almost getting like half of what I should be getting. Um, but the far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Right, so I remember how this room works. If only I remember the order of switches that I gotta press. Yeah, okay. Swing your arms, baby. This is just like when your mom makes spaghetti twice in the same week. Guys, spaghetti is great, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? How could you not? Let me just memorize like the positions of these switches, because I did it the first time and it did not turn out well. Okay. Okay, kids. Let's see. If you can read this, press the blue switch. But I don't have blue Joy-Con. Will the mistake be corrected slash refunded? That's not what I'm clear on. I, I, I like put it, oh shit, I can't just spare this easily. Farmed locally, very locally. Oh, I gotta dodge these potato chips. Yo, he's a potato, you can tell. Uh, okay, I think you have to... Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. I think with this dude, there's a couple of ways to do it. But yeah, I don't like, I don't know specifically what documents I need to like resubmit or like what, 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 whatever information I didn't provide to like address that. But I guess we'll find out when the time comes. My guess would be though that the fees do not get retroactively lifted. I'm just prepared for that. I don't know if that's the case, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, so you actually have to, you know, as the, as the veggie here says, eat the greens to get good. So now we can spare and then mm, cha cha cha, we're good to go. We're paying you good money to make heat and memes and grapefruit. You better be getting it. <laughs> well, I still get, like, I don't know if I'm at liberty to say the specific dollar value. Um, I believe it is public information that it is a 50-50 split. So for a $5 subscription, you may be able to do the math for it yourself. However, I'm getting less than that. Is that all I can say? Also, I never pressed the blue switch. Let's do that. It's a switch. It sure is. You hear a clicking sound, or rather, a snapping sound. Oh, I, I didn't remember you for a second. Luke's drew near. Uh, I believe for this dude, we have to don't pick on. Please! The split, yeah, the split is public, but 
if I'm able to like, what I'm asking whether or not I'm able to like specifically talk about what I earn, um, I'd have to look at the affiliate contract. Um, I, I, I definitely wouldn't do that like willy nilly, but hmm, worth thinking about. Oh, it's, we didn't spare. Oh, cause we ate the candy. Like a fool. We could have done this after the battle. Why didn't I spare? Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to say how much you get specifically, but people can do the math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I think what I've said now is probably the maximum I can say. I'm, I'm not gonna say anymore. If you can read this, press the red switch. Hmm. I don't know about this. Seems pretty suspicious. I believe it's also public if you're talking about the 30% cut from non-US persons. Well, that's what I initially thought. That's why I thought it was lower than it needs to be. But I guess there's like some sort of... some tax thing or whatever that you can... Because <sighs> I, I filled out these forms for other services before. I forget what like the specific tax form is called. But there is definitely a way to not get that 30% thing. Um... And I guess I just didn't do it, or I did it wrong or something. Um, also, I have to don't pick on. Please! Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I thought that that was, like, what was going on at first. Um, that it was just, you know, something that I couldn't avoid. But there are other, like, Canadians in that thread that were saying, like, No, yeah, I get the, 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 the 50%, let's say. <laughs> and so I guess I'll just have to look into it sometime. What I'm worried about, though, is that maybe, maybe, um, if I resubmit those documents, that while they're being processed, my affiliate membership might be suspended temporarily. Again, I don't know if that's true. Like, this is, like, new territory for me, so I guess I'll find out. But I, I desperately want to keep my Keaton emotes, so I'm assuming this is the green switch now. Yeah, okay, cool. <gasps> We're getting, like, a lot of enemies here. We can do, like, a double spare here. See, now, now I know that I can just do this on the X screen. Yeah, I don't know. I, it should be able to be something I can work out at, like, another time. But I asked around in the thread if anybody knew, like, what specifically it was that I needed to, like, s what information that they needed in order for that to, like, get undone, I suppose. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've gotten a response to that yet, but who knows? Maybe after the stream we'll find out. Let's find out. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw it. Why is the name blue? What's that mean? See, when I played through Undertale, there were no such thing as blue names. What's that mean? This is repeat dialogue, but I do want the toy knife. Cool. Um... I'm assuming that's like something that they like patched in and it's just like this is a different build that I, that I'm playing now than the one I played in my initial playthrough so I I don't know. I wonder if there's other differences like that that we're going to run into. Anyways, hello. So what games are you going to stream from jail once you throw you in the slammer for tax fraud? <laughs> well, Yoshi will be able to keep me company, so I guess Yoshi's Woolly World. We'll, we'll be we'll play some of Yoshi's Crafted World. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I'll hear you. Oh, thanks. Good thing I forgot about the, the candy in the menu. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Does me. Well, don't outrun me. This ain't no hallway. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate by your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. Yeah, okay, this is- this is all repeats. Cute repeats, nonetheless, but... This is it! Okay, I definitely made that joke last time. There is no way I could resist an opportunity for this is it, Luigi. Is something burning? Where there's smoke! I wonder if, like, you, you were to play these... My neutral and pacifist playthroughs at the same time. You would see, like... <laughs> me making the exact same jokes at the exact same time with the exact same timing. Damn, this really is a time loop. I believe last time we went to sleep and the pie was just waiting for us, but let's go to the kitchen and take what is ours. What a nice smell. It's too hot to eat, though. Mommy, I want my pie! Hello there, little one. Oh, her sprite has glasses. I don't think I noticed that last time. The pie has not cooled down yet. Uh, perhaps you should take a nap. Yes? Sweet dreams. I thought she was gonna, like, make me go to sleep, like, here on the floor. 
You should go to sleep. Yes, sweet dreams. And then you just wake up on the floor where you stood. But this is, this works too. <laughs> Would people make more or less milk jokes in jail is the real question. Oh. Now, fellas, I don't need to go to jail. Twitch is prison. <laughs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I think you've already checked out what's over here before, right? Yeah, this is like under maintenance or renovations. That's me. It's you. I think there would be just the right amount of milk jokes. That being none. Okay, so I believe we have to go back and talk to Toriel. I think the pie is optional, actually, but we do have to talk uh, to talk to her to get the hell out of here. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I love that little glare. <laughs> I'm glad to have some you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? No. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. <gasps> Stop by running me. She's making like tire screeching noises as she <laughs> makes her way to the basement. No, Twitch is hell. Jail will be the upgrade where you come back to life. Damn, you might be onto something, Itz. What do you know that I don't? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No- No one will ever know! No one will ever be able to leave again. I wonder if I made that joke last time. If I did and I'm disappointed in myself, now be a good child and go upstairs. No! Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they... Uh, Asgore will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Please understand. Go to your room. I wish I, 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 Satoru Iwata was my mom. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. This is it, Torio. You want to leave so badly? <sighs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Like you've seen a ghost. Do you know something that I do not? No, that that is impossible. Well, that's new. You see, I if we just hopped, if we just did a pacifist run right off the book, like doing this repeat playthrough like adds so much to it you know there's a motivation be behind the pacifist run and there's like both for like as a player and the character you know because i mean you know obviously being nice is a motivation in and of itself but it is a very unnatural way like i guess I'll, I, how do you do this again i think you have to like keep spamming the spare option even though it like doesn't work something like that it, it's it's kind of um What's the word I'm looking for? Obtuse? Hard to figure out? Um, see, now we got two rows of dot dot dots and two dogs going ham upstairs. Thanks, Mike. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Oh, we got three dot dot dots. Oh shit, here comes Toriel. But yeah, like, a big part of this game is, like, the way it, like, subverts, like, those those RPG tropes of, like, oh, they kill the monsters, get the XP. And it, like, the intent is to, like, kind of trick you into playing it like any other game, and then only later on do you realize that that's not the case, and it's, like, much, it goes much deeper than you think. And it's a shame that, like, a lot of other people who wanted to, like, stream this game kind of had, like, an audience who kind of were shitty about it. <laughs> um... But thankfully, you guys just all hate Undertale, so technically, I win. You know, I was joking, but apparently in Canada you can actually play games in jail if you're on good behavior. Happy Easter, Xbox. Fight me or leave! Oh, she's getting mad. I wish I could play Undertale in jail! Stop it. What, streaming? 
Believe me, you're not the first to tell me. <laughs> Toriel is acting aloof. Stop looking at me that way. Why, well, God, that's how you play the game. That's how you get in the gang and play. Toriel looks through you. Go away! I was not aware that that's a thing. Then, then again, it's isn't Canadian, so... What do you know? Hmm. We're back to dot dot dots. <laughs> oh, this is getting real close. I th Are we at the threshold where she, like, stops attacking us yet? Okay, she doesn't, she doesn't want to hurt us. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're a good boy! Toriel prepares a magical attack. Oh, her sprite's looking all sad now. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll go take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... Dot dot dot! We can have a good life here. What happens if I, like, look at her status right now? Knows best for you. Okay, it's still the same. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <gasps> She's making a frown now! It went to flat mouth to the frown mouth. That's horrible. <laughs> My god, child, you're so crazy. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. Oh, it's like a slow down reprise of this theme. I love it. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's precious. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, my child. Oh, it's so good. It's so cute. And she takes one last look before walking away. Oh, see though, if that just happened right off the bat, then that's like okay, that's just a thing. But once you start, you know, this again, this is like the first huge point where the, your choices really start to like diverge between a neutral run or a pacifist run um i mean depending on which bosses you do and don't um but for our playthrough that's kind of like the the first big thing and i feel like like even though i'm replaying this that still feels like a very powerful moment because i'm replaying it if it was just if i just leapt into a pacifist run i feel like that wouldn't be the same anyways i've done enough rambling about uh why I'm a better streamer than everybody else. But, <laughs> uh, oh, Flowey's not here. Fascinating. Okay, so I will spoil one thing. So alongside the game uh, remembering, you know, even though we did the reset and the game, like, remembered, um, like, Flowey came up at the beginning and, like, reminded us, hey, don't kill anybody, like I told you at the end of your last save file. Um, if you do kill Toriel and you reset the save file, not like in the same way, we, if you like save scum, right? It, not like wiping it and then starting anew. Um, but if, if you just like reload your save, right? Flowey will be here and he'll like, he'll know what you really did. And he'll like scold you for killing Toriel and he's like, oh, you can't change things so easily. Um, I mean, it's a much creepier and cooler moment than I make it out to be. But yeah, th that's this is just the beginning of the cool shit this game does. Again, if you're not familiar with Undertale by Toby Fox. I mean, if you want to be technical, I have a lot of lineage leading back to Canada, so one might argue that I am a Canada. One whole Canada I am, yes. Yeah, okay, it's Porter. Oh no. We're in Sandsland. Good to know that the borders are still turned on, though. This is a good one. It means more after the fact that you brutally murdered her the first time, and then that can happen. Yeah, like, you realize that, you know, things don't have to be this way, you know? It's really cool. <gasps> You just hear it echoing through the trees. <gasps> no. No. Not the Fortnite funny moments! Human. <gasps> Ew.
Damn, he really did it to us. What if he was doing the Lucky Luciana pose after his shadow went away? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. Wait a sec, have you heard it before or something? You turned around before I said to... Weird. Uh, whatever, you're a human, right? I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too white to stop anyone. Look at that goddamn smile. Uh, quick, behind the conveniently shaped lamp! <gasps> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother! It's been eight days and you still haven't since what I st since I last streamed Undertale. Recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. Yeah, so I think all of this stuff is, is the same as far as Papyrus goes. I mean, maybe if we start, like, picking different, like, dialogue options, then we'll find out. But for now, I think it's the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks, this looks like all the same. Promotion! Yeah, okay. I already nailed this performance, so I don't need to do it again. You guys know what's up. We'll kind of make this a little, like, shorter than the last uh, neutral run, which was three streams. Um, because, I mean, even though that some of these things are recontextualized and uh, there might be some small differences, in instances like this, I think it's okay to skip, unless you guys think otherwise. But, you know, if you guys want to see these cutscenes done, then just go back to the other streams. Yeah, okay. I think we just, like, mash... God damn it. If we mash A and B, we, sh we should just be able to... It's okay, Papyrus. I think you're great. I think that was funny. Um... Hey! Hello, p p p p p p p p p p p p p Welcome to the stream. Okay, you can come out now. Hello! You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, okay, Sans. Leave! Immediately! Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Uh, don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Uh, thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Yeah, okay, that was just a repeat. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Ooh, hold on. There's like some place you can go to where there's like a random thing that can occur. I don't think it's at this river, but it's like at a river. I wonder if resetting the save file like gives us another shot at it. Use the box? I don't think we have anything to put in it right now. That said, I don't think we equipped the knife. Let's do that. Now I'm ready to fight. What is your favorite character? Ooh, good question. Um, well, Sans and Papy Papyrus, as a pair, I think, are pretty great. Um, Undyne's pretty high up on my list, too. I guess that's a that's a good question to think to myself as I, as I go further through the series. Um, I think this is all a repeat as well, so we'll just mash through it. Again, uh, if you are new to this, uh, this is my second run of this game. I, I did a neutral run earlier, and if you're interested in seeing the VODs, they are available in the Twitch cards below at the Full Galaxy, um, where all the VODs are, plus highlights and more. Um, but yeah, uh, I think right now it's, I would say, Undyne, but I could be forgetting someone. It's been a while. Yeah, okay, this is still all the same. Cool. Mm-hmm. There is, like, some more Papyrus stuff that comes later on that we definitely haven't done that we are going to do later tonight, but for now, I think it's fair to mash through it. Well, what a quick stream already doing the outro. Well, you know how it is. Whomst? Snowdrake flutters forth. You see, because now that we're doing a passive run, we kind of have to, like, it's not so simple. We gotta think about what, what we've gotta do here. So, maybe we joke? You make a bad ice pun. Is that supposed to be funny? <gasps> That's just chat whenever I make a joke. Snowdrake is smiling at its own bad joke. Well, now do I laugh? You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny, but it just made a joke. What are you laughing at? <gasps> Uh-oh. Is this how real-life comedy shows work? I forgot that the... Snowdrake realized his its own name is a pun and is freaking out. So what, should we heckle? You tell the Snowdrake that they aren't funny. <gasps> This won't be funny either! <gasps> oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Snowdrake is smiling at its own bad joke. Oh, I wonder what I should do to spare this dude then. I could flee, but... We kinda... 
<laughs> Exhausted all of her options, this teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Fights you in cold blood. When he makes a pun, laugh. <gasps> that was a pun! You're right, he just made one. God damn it, I joked! <laughs> a nice try. Uh-oh. Snow Drake is assessing the crowd. Can we still laugh? What if I, like, it took a while for me to get the joke, and now I'm getting it. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. I guess that works. Thank you. Oh, Snow Drake is pleased with its cool joke. Oh, that's a good spare face. See, so now we're getting... I think that battle was unrelated to checking this. Okay, there's a narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Note, also a repeat. I wonder if we can skip this battle. Absolutely no moving. You will be banned and barred from SL. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. <laughs> I also wonder how these voices are going to differ, because I might not remember how all of them go. Anyways, Doggo blocks the way. See, now would be the perfect time to bust out those those Keaton uh, assets. I mean, you guys have those Keaton pride emotes, by the way, wink wink. Doggo blocks the way. So how do you spare this dude? I think we actually spared him in our neutral run, so we, it shouldn't be too much trouble. Oh, but Doggo is too suspicious of her movements. <gasps> we can't move an inch. Doggo is easiest fight? I don't know, man. He's got two swords. You can't say that from too many other characters. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pot, pet, 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 pot. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. That's a good face. So something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> oh yeah, and then the smoked dog treats. That's great. No Keaton, only real dogs. Put the fucking Franker dogs away! God damn it! I can't believe you've done this. My friend. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. I think we did this in our neutral run, and we, hold, we held onto it the whole time, but I don't think we actually followed through on what we needed to do with that quest. We definitely will be able to now, though, for unspecified reasons. Okay, this is... Yeah, this, uh, this is all the same still. Oh, ho, speak of the devil! Wowie is best dog. Frankerface is definitely a good dog, but I don't know if he's a Keaton dog. Forgetting the best character in the entire game, Burger Pants, SMH. Oh! Burger Pants, you say? Burger Pants, you say? Oh, chat, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, poor chat, you really should not have brought such a thing up. You'll regret that purchase. Incredible, you slippery snail! Chew easily. Yeah, okay, hold on. I gotta grab something real quick as I mash through this dialogue. You will regret that purchase. <laughs> Do it, I want to see it again. Don't. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. At least... <laughs> at least last time, we, we could delay it. We could postpone it until the time came. But now, we're just hopping right into the misery. I'll tell you who's a good Undertale character. The Ice Cream Man. This is a good lad. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Uh, hello, would you like some ice cream? You know I do. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Fellas, I was talking about DQ the other day. Th this, this craving has still not been quenched, and this Ice Cream Man is not helping. I might take two, though. Oh, but my space is 7 out of 8. I better take Toriel's advice. Hmm, but it's a hell of a deal. But I should remember the bicycles, because those are pretty good as well. I think we'll, we'll be fine for now. 
Hmm. What have you done, you poor man? <laughs> oh, you know. Again, if you're getting here just now, that was like a joke from, from the last <laughs> playthrough. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. We know how this gag goes. No thanks. Oh, I can't believe I've done this to myself. Jerry is my favorite. I don't think we ever ran into Jerry on our last playthrough. Fingers crossed, I guess. Although, perhaps, fingers not crossed because Jerry is the worst. Human? Oh, okay, so this might be our first chance to like choose a different choice as far as Sans Papyrus goes. Yeah, okay. Junior Jumble. Fun fact, you actually can find all the words in here, except for gas for Every, like, and it's at, across the top too, but it's spelt like slightly differently. It, it's F-U-B, Reber, instead of F-E-B, Reber, as you can see. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I know I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. You see, so last time we agreed with him, so let's see what happens if you, like, disagree with him. That's for baby bones. Uh, we're gonna say the crossword's harder. I mean, hey, we couldn't solve it. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Yeah, <laughs> heh I don't know why Papyrus always gets the, the short end of the bone. He, he's a good lad. Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Speaking of, I used the phrase no bones about it with a friend the other day, and they had no clue with what I was talking about. Apparently that's a very uncommon saying from like the 1930s. It fills you with determination, but I guess I just know it somehow. And I don't know where I learned it either. We already read that note. We know what's up. Warning, dog marriage. God damn it. The worst time to ha to not have Keaton assets in the stream at the moment. Lesser dog appears. Hmm. As good a as a boy as this is, we already know what happens with this. So we'll just pet a little bit and then we'll spare. <gasps> oh, that's a good boy right there. Yo, he's a jumper, you can tell. Oh, they're already spareable. Perfect. Talk about a retro gamer. Heh. <laughs> Maybe there's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Wow. Oh, we, didn't ha we, we don't even have to look at this. We just gotta go here. Perfect. <gasps> Dog marriage. What is your favorite game? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I feel like I streamed something pretty recently that I'm a big fan of. I mean, honestly, Undertale's pretty high up on my list. Um, in terms of favorite games, I don't know. I'm like, usually I'm like a big Nintendo guy, but as far as like favorite games go, you know, air quotes, but I feel like personally, I'm more into like artsier games, I guess, like, Journey, I think, is one of my more favorite games, like... In terms of games plural, I tend to, like, kind of think about really well-designed gameplay and stuff like that, but if I think about what my favorite games are, like, in hindsight, it's usually the stuff that, like, made me, like, feel something emotionally, you know? And I guess Journey and Undertale happen to be games that do that, so... I'm sure there are others that, that I have. I mean, Odyssey and Breath of the Wild came pretty damn close, I gotta say. They're certainly up there on the list. Because not only are those very tight design games, but hey, they made me feel something because they're just so good. Dog Eye, Assault You. I think... Oh, hi, doggy. I think we already spared these guys in, in the past of his playthrough too, but I gotta remember how this works. Right, you gotta roll around and then they re-sniff you. Isn't it Alan Wake? <laughs> it is now. You smell like a weird puppy. <clears throat> Dog marriage. Oh, no. I would love to stream Journey at some point. The dogs may want to re-smell you. Take a fucking sniff, babes. <laughs> the dogs sniff you again. Speaking of take a fucking sniff, let's take a fucking sip. Alan Wake is like the room. I'm glad I'm not the only one drawing that comparison. That's great. Mm, I'm sipping. No, <laughs> the axes. <gasps> uh oh. Now is not the time to take a sniff, babes, or a sip. Uh, 
pet? You pet the dog Aressa. A dog that pets dogs? Amazing! What about me? Oh, those dogs are at it again. Oh, okay. Flex tape can fix dog marriage. I don't know, they're already pretty close. I mean, if you ever need to use the two of them as a speedboat, then maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think you need the pet still. You pet Dogamy. Wow, pet by another pup? Well, don't leave me out. But you just got a pet. One at a time, please. Yeah, you've got to do that. I think I still took damage, but... The dog's minds have been expanded. Oh, look at their, like, wide, <laughs> watery eyes. Flex tape, a seal so strong it can bond marriage. <laughs> Dogs can pet other dogs! A new world has opened up for us! Thanks, weird puppy! Wow. Uh-oh. These puzzles. <laughs> I saw this boat in half! I don't think you've made- I- I personally have made any flex tape references ever in my streams, but flex tape is great. I feel like it- it should have a greater presence in this stream. A teensy dated, but I think it's valid. Okay, so that's how that works. I got this. The what? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Oh, the spaghetti. Let's say we ate it this time. Really? Wow, we. No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Ha 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 nya. And flex glue, that's true. Certainly haven't made flex glue references either. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Lest we forget. <laughs> the most important part of Papyrus's voice acting. Human. Okay, this is all repeats. We know how these, these puzzles work. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now I gotta rem remember how this works. I think I already messed it up. Yeah, okay, hold on. Flex tape is actually really good, is why it's a valid meme. It works. Does it? I mean, I, I guess I've yet to investigate any consumer reports, but I'm sure it does. Was ShamWow ever a good product or slap shop? Because I feel like that's kind of a similar tier. To Phil Swift? Phil Swift is the flex tape guy? Because I feel like those both like became memes because of like the enthusiasm of the person talking about it. Um, but I wonder if like what if any of those products ever ended up being duds. Good job on solving it so quickly. He didn't even even need my help, which is great because I love doing absolutely nothing. I think last time he scolded us for taking too long. That's cool. Eating a nice dinner of cold and soggy cereal. I'm sorry to hear that, Neon Blue. Billy Mays! Oh, of course, he's a treasure. Yeah, I already know how these rules work. Mm-hmm. Imagine how much time we're saving by just skipping through these. Great! Then there's one last thing. Mm-hmm. This is it, Luigi! It's what I feel like. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Neon Blue. I hope you feel better. Whoa, so random! <laughs> oh, that's valid. Also, that's Metaton up there. I didn't realize that last time. Because it's his puzzle, of course. That's cool. <laughs> Actually, that's spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even be able to make something edible. <gasps> oh, look at this! The sculptures... Yeah, so the sculptures here are like different depending on how much petting you do. So in the neutral run, we did a ton of petting. So there was like, dogs all over the place. But now it's just this one lad. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. You're welcome to Galaxy Gallery, I guess. Knowing that the dog will never go up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. On the floor inside is a box of Palmer raisins. Aware of dog, please pet dog. 
Metaton scoping out the scene. I guess so. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. What? I, is that the voice that I used last time? I don't think it is. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Hey, that's not nice. So is Keaton's, but you don't hear anybody making fun of him for it. And if, if you do, then a grave mistake has been made, and someone must be punished. You took away his creative spirit by not petting enough. You're right, I made a grave mistake. I've already forsaken my pacifist run. It's too late for me now. This is how this is done, right? I believe it is. Cool. Okay, phew. I was worried I was gonna, like, fly past that switch for a second, but we're good. This game also kind of breaks the fourth wall. Gee, you don't say! <laughs> Yeah, um, there's been a couple of instances in terms of, like, the game being, like, cognizant of, like, the whole safe stating thing. Um, oh shit! Yeah, let's go this way! At first I was gonna, like, skip this route, but there's something we could do down here now. Well, I think we could do it last time as well, but... Oh, hey, Sans. Hey, Sans. Gift truck confronts you. There was a thing here that someone told me I could do last time, and then I said, Mmm, I don't want to do it. I'll do it on the pacifist run, but you know what? Here we are now. Your move, the, bar the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. <gasps> oh, this is some speedy... Tears? Circles? Gift trot is slightly less irritating. Let's keep on decorating. Your move, the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. That's a little better. Mmm, still not better enough. So I still don't know how to trigger this, but it sounds like there's some Undertale experts in chat tonight, so... Uh, how do I do this? You remove the striped cane that says, yeah, I use this. Okay. Cha, I get the picture. A weight has been lifted. <laughs> Gift drops, problems have been taken away. I won! Oh, 20 gold, that's nice. I recently got a new comic crush, and they're kind of a sociopath. To be fair, I'm not sure anyone in-game makes fun of Keaton for his intelligence. He has enough self-control and awareness to call out Perry. It's been a while since I've played Fates. I don't know if I can verify that. If anybody is mean to Keaton in-game, they are forever cancelled. But yeah, I, I remember you bringing that up last time, Neon Blue. Um, and I guess to elaborate on that thought, it depends. Because sometimes certain characters in fiction are like, Step on me! But then other times, it's like, it depends on like if you're attracted to that character like in spite of that trait or like because of it. But personally, I don't see a problem with it. I'm an Undertale expert. You gotta beat John Undertale. Oh no, you're thinking of Undertale 2 Overtale. Um, yeah, so there's, like, supposed to be something here, but I don't think I've ever managed to trigger it myself. So what's up here? Hmm. If anybody at least, like, even knows, like, the name of the thing that's here, then I could, like, look it up and figure out, like, just, like, see what the trigger is. But as is, I'm not quite sure what the case is. Hmm. The music here is good, though. Does this play anywhere else in-game? It's a door. I don't think we ever figured out what this door was for, either. I think the boss and the door are unrelated. In their support, he was sensitive about being a country guy, or called that with Mozu, in their support. Keaton is not a country guy, don't say that! Hey, yo, Corin. Oh my god, Corin! I'm like the last person to make that joke, but I've unfortunately made a, a terrible connection. <laughs> if I recall correctly, Hana is mean to Keaton because he collects dead stuff and she calls him gross. That's maybe a little valid. I don't know. I think you have to beat all runs? Oh. Including genocide? I've already done neutral. Um. Let me look. What would I- I don't know what this boss is called, but there's like supposed to be a secret here. Let me look it up real quick. Undertale secret boss? I'm just gonna get results for no so- for so sorry. He's not a city guy either. Quick, someone bring up corn from Dragon Ball. If- please. That's come up very rarely, but it's come up more than it should, I think. Real talk is Keaton the truck freak. I actually, when that meme was like in its um, ascendance, I guess, is it called a glide? Um, I was thinking of making one, and I was going to make Keaton appear as like, cause he's got like the Garo form. But if you guys think that he's more fit as a truck freak, then I guess so. Oh, he this. This Undertale wiki even has, like, their animated sprite here and their little card. That's cool. Okay, but let's see. How do I... In order to encounter Glide, the protagonist must go to the mysterious door room outside Snowden with the four mushrooms, count them, that's four, um, and move for about three minutes. This encounter must happen before the fight with Papyrus or Glide does not appear. 
The higher the kill count of the protagonist during the genocide route, the longer it takes for Glad to appear, possibly upwards of 30 minutes. Whoa, interesting. Okay. Midnight Lycanroc is totally Keaton. I'm glad you've made this connection because <laughs> that's literally what I named my Midnight Lycanroc in my Pokemon uh, Sun run. Although I can't give that all the credit because you actually can't get Midnight Lycanroc in Pokemon Sun. You get the daytime one. So what I had to do is that I had to get a friend who had Pokemon Moon, like raise a Lycanroc for me and name it Keaton and like evolve it and train it and all that shit. And then just like trade it to me when they were done with it. I guess we run in circles. You gotta dodge all the Kickstarter backer credits. That unlocks the door. But you only get those credits for doing the final good ending super fun run. Well, that is what we're doing here, is it not? Yeah, no, I think the door is something different. Um, I feel like I've seen what it is, but I, I couldn't like recall at the moment. But with Glad, I think it's just like out here. That's what the wiki says anyways. It just says to go to the room with the door, not like into the door, so I'm gonna keep this up. Apparently it could be up to three minutes, so we're just gonna keep this up. Dad'll do it! Damn lot of viewers for some very exciting action at the moment. Let's see. What can we talk about in the meantime? I'll tell you what though, I brought up Mandarin Oranges coming back the other day. Man, I've been going ham on those. Guys, you do not understand how much I love those those wee bastards. <laughs> There's also So Sorry. Fun fact, if you check out the Undertale playlist available now at youtube.com slash, well, I don't have a vanity URL, but at Griffin Galactic the full galaxy available also in the Twitch cards below. There's just a link to it. Um, I've already done a, a, a So Sorry thing. <gasps> oh shit! <gasps> okay, I, I don't think I've done Glide either, so let's... How do we spare this, I wonder? Let's, let's start with checking. Applaud, boo, nothing? Cool. Glide. Attack high, defense high. Refuses to give more details about its statistics. Wow, check out my pecs. Oh, I didn't know it was this kind of character. Fellas, I think... I think I can answer that question about who's my favorite Undertale character now. Gliding is giving itself a high five. Somehow. Hmm. Well, let's kind of go through our options then. Applaud. You clap. Really sloppily. Oh, like Professor Pickle? Like... Glide suck us, sucks up your prey as like a vacuum cleaner. Or, like a- <laughs> Okay, I rule, I admit it. Damn. Look at this dude's smile. He's beaming. Glide is giving itself a high five somehow, okay. So what happens if we boo? You boo. But haters only make Glide stronger. Attack up, defense down. Boo, what a wimpy ghost. Oh, <gasps> damn. Is that allowed? Can they say that? How did Nintendo allow this? Glide sees its reflection and gets jealous. What if we do nothing? You do nothing. No effect. Uh-oh. <gasps> That's new. Oh my god. Bad? Sweet. I'm, I'm trying to read the words. Uh-oh. Griffin, are you going to play or stream The World Ends With You? Also, I don't think we ever got a game over in our, in our neutral run. But here we go. Sounds like Donald Duck. <laughs> It's supposed to be the grapefruit technique, but I'm glad that pe even people who don't know say, no, that's just Donald. That ain't no grapefruit technique. You cannot give up just yet. Griffin, my friend. Uh-oh. They do look like Fawful. Um, yeah, though. As far as the world ends with you, I've been recommend- Oh, man, oh, man. You've got to do this now? That's like a good ways back. Um, I guess I'll- Uh-oh. Oh, hey, hit the switch on the way down. Um, I've never played it before. Uh, so, I remember reading about that game in Nintendo Power, and at the time thinking that the character designs looked cool. Um, but I don't know if it's, like, my kind of game. Do you guys think it would be? Did it do 10 damage? Yikes. This reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 3, actually. Huh. Wow. I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just be a little more careful. Chat's gonna have to read what this thing says. Oh, but gift trot again? Can I just flee though? I've got better to do. <laughs> I like that my heart grows legs and walks away. Okay. So, oranges, huh? So grapefruits, huh? I've heard good things about it. 
And I suppose the OST is slapping from what I hear. Hmm. Well, as far as whether or not it's going to be a game that I would like, I do like slapping music. So that is... I just don't know enough about it at the moment, uh, like what the gameplay even is, or like what the setting or story is. Um, I know Deku is streaming it though, um, and I pointed out that the game had yaoi moans, so that is another plus. Um, but maybe I'll, I'll go back and like watch a little bit more of his, his streams of it uh, to get a better idea of what the game's about. It's pretty close to Kingdom Hearts in terms of dev team, I think. Oh, okay. So I'll hate it then. <laughs> This game is very well made. Undertale? Yeah. I mean, emotional resonance aside, there, there's a very good reason I like this game. Like, it's it's subversion of just, like, these very well-worn ideas about what games like this should be is, like... I remember at the time singing its, this game's praises a lot, and everyone's gonna... Everyone told me, including Ant Supporter, I believe, at the time. Nah. Undertale? Come on. That's just a flash in the pan. Nobody's gonna care about that game a couple years down the road. And here I am, playing it on Switch now. So, uh, yeah, it's. What have you got to say to that? This is before it's made predictions that always came true. <laughs> Which might explain why they were in Dream Drop Distance. Were the World Ends With You characters in Kingdom Hearts at some point? Huh. Thanks, I hate it. Yo, can I get a fucking, uh... Glide? Maybe? If I'm gonna have to do this every time I attempt. There's no safe stating here. That little glowy is the closest I can get. To be fair, look at, say, Wind Waker. This game has aged pretty well, and other games from the same time didn't. That's true. It's Portal like likened this to Five Nights at Freddy's. Also, hello, Glide. It was before it's ascended and gained foresight. Yeah, it's what did you do to suddenly become right all the time? Okay, so what... What's like the sequence of events we do need to do here in order to make this enemy sparable though? Is it nothing? You do nothing. No effect. What I said wasn't that it was a flash in the pan. I said that I didn't think the rest of the industry would be changed by this game. I don't think I ever said that. I think it's like a watershed moment that maybe like changes the way that consumers might think about games, but I don't think there's gonna be like any Undertale likes. Also, oof! I was wrong so much, I spent all of my dumb points early in life. <laughs> Will you stream tomorrow? Uh, probably. I don't see why not. Yeah, uh, if you look at the Twitch cards below, you can see like a list of games that I'm playing at the moment. Um, so I'm also doing Okami, Hollow Knight. Let's see if I can remember this, because I'm in the- God damn it, I got this wrong again. I'm in the middle of a lot right now. Uh, but let's see if I can remember it all. I'm in the middle of Okami HD, Hollow Knight, Alan Wake, Sonic Unleashed, this, and I think maybe like one more Switch game? I'm playing like six or seven games right now. I'm sure so someone in chat's like scrolling down on the channel page and like, mm-hmm, which one did you miss, Griffin? I say as I immediately scroll down to see which one I missed. Let's see, games. Where's that list at? Oh, Super Mario Party. Yeah, I'm doing that too. Uh, I'm doing like a... Oh, hold on, I got caught in the corner. Uh, I'm doing like a, a single player thing of that uh, with a bunch of CPUs. Still haven't done like some of the harder difficulties, so I'm excited to see like what else awaits <laughs> before I get owned. So far it's actually been going quite well. I don't think I've lost a single game of that, but I've been having a lot of fun with it, uh, for sure. Again, if you're interested in catching up on any of these series, they're all available now at the Full Galaxy. Uh, I guess let's undecorate. Or we could just, you know... Oh, hold on, these are new attacks, though. <gasps> I ran last time, but... Oh, wait, sparing isn't the option. I gotta... Okay, well, now I gotta run. It's a lost cause. Let's see. Let's bust out that monster candy right away. You've yet to play on a real gamer difficulty, though. That's what I'm saying. So, Super Mario Party isn't the only Mario Party game that I've streamed. Um, I've done 4, 5, and 6, I believe, on the GameCube, just like as one-offs. Um, and those didn't go quite as well for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's from a worse time when I had an awful mic. So if you can put up with that, then yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had in, in those VODs. So, you know. If you're looking for suggestions, I guess on what I think are good streams of mine to look into. I like those. They're good. Coolio the Coolio? Now, in any other circumstance, I would say what the fuck, but this may come as a shock to you, 
But Coolio Julio is actually a very common catchphrase of mine that I used to use all the time. I don't think I've said it very recently. Apparently no bones about it is my, is what I've uh, pivoted to recently, but damn. Who are you? <laughs> and what have you done with Julio? Since I'm sharing my new comic crush, it's Thon from DC. Oh, this is what you mean. Just fuck Venom like everybody else, weirdo. <laughs> Like, you know how people literally used to go into a game area to listen to an OST? I've heard tales of people literally use headphones to thank Hades for games that have OSTs listed and organized. I'm not sure how that's related to the first part of that statement, but good for you. So, chunks, huh? <laughs> I've kidnapped him! Oh no! Let him go! Oh, he escaped. Okay. Well, I guess that was quick. <laughs> Let him go! Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see. In terms of other series that I like, though, Wind Waker is always a good one. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, like, series that I think are good, there are highlights videos of many of those, so that's always a place to start as well. Why, Thon? Oh, don't... S Femi! Don't indulge it! <laughs> okay. For once, I think I shouldn't be focusing on chat. That said, tell me what to do to beat this so that I don't, like waste too many turns. Um, let's try applauding, maybe? I seem to be able to be good at dodging, like, these baby boys, but when when I do nothing, the big boys come out, and it does, like, more damage. Glad sees his reflection and gets jealous. Thon is a quick boy. How do you even know who that is? Why is the, the word thought keep getting blocked from chat? <laughs> Glad sees- okay. Glad, um, do I keep applauding? I don't know. You clap like a gorilla. Glad is becoming addicted to your praise. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe I figured this out on my own. What else do you have to say? Hold on. <gasps> oh, it does the big boys no matter what. I see. Oh, this is so tough to dodge. Okay. Mm, monster candy. <sighs> this is gonna be tough. It's Porter looked it up. How great I am. Oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Glad is thinking of new words for the word cool, like freakadacious. Hmm, that's pretty freakadacious. Hmm, well, we do have nice cream. An illustration of a hug. How great I am. But this is the thing, because now that we're using all these items, we can't, like, continue applauding. And this may be, this may cause some trouble. Glad is thinking of new slang. Okay, so now we gotta keep applauding, right? You clap like a gorilla. Glad is becoming addicted to your praise. What else do you have to say? Well, that seems like a repeat, but I think we're on the right track. I don't have very many healing items on me. You're a smart person. You can figure this out. I'm really not. That's a hell of an assumption to make, it's Porter. But I can't lose hope. Okay, here's... <laughs> I like how earlier in this I was like talking about like, oh, I'm, I'm saving so much time. But now here I am walking in circles investing a crazy amount of time, not only in walking back to this encounter repeatedly, but also just, like, you gotta walk in a circle for, like, a while before they even show up, so... Hey! Oh, okay, I'm sorry for believing in you. You guys, I mean, there are some, some newcomers to the stream tonight, which, by the way, thanks for watching. Um, but someone like It's Porter, you should know by now that it's not so simple. Like, you know that fear when you don't actually hate someone, but disliking them? I'm thinking Dunsparce looking at the design now. What? When did Dunsparce get involved in this conversation? Uh-oh. The newcomers are getting upset! I'm sorry. Again, if you are new here, I'm bad at video games. <laughs> and it also doesn't help, they don't have very many healing items and very much health. Listen, but I'm trying. If it makes you upset, would you like me to just move on or what? I haven't seen this, so just personally, I would like to see what's up. Also, do you get anything for doing this? I'm thinking about life. That's fair enough. Ah, uh, Fleet? Sure. This seems like a pretty nice fella. A tortured soul. That said, no one's telling me how to beat this guy yet. You know what though? I did just have the wiki page open, so if no one's gonna tell me, I may as well find out for myself. Undertale.wikia.com slash Clyde. Cool. Mm, 
strategy. To beat him, the protagonist must applaud them twice and then do nothing for the rest of the battle. It's Porter, that's not easy. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? That's not obvious. <laughs> okay. That ought to do it. That's easy enough. I've certainly managed to applaud more than twice, so... That seems like the, the, the best way to go about it. Or the only way to go about it, rather. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It was when I was looking at design for this boss. Neon Blue, I don't know why you're suddenly quoting simple and clean, but thanks. <laughs> it's been a while, but do you guys want me to bust out that Rocco Bodie simple and clean cover? I don't know, sounds easy to me. Oh, because the strategy is simple and clean, I guess, maybe? Say subscribe to Albert. Oh, no! I'm not doing promos. <laughs> subscribe to Albert. I can Unsubscribe from Albert. Don't do that shit. Please don't promote. I guess that's not a rule, so you've gotten away with it this time. But, <laughs> yeah. I I'd prefer if you, if you didn't uh, do stuff like that. Now, say I cup is another thing. <laughs> but subscribe to Albert. That's a little bit. Mm. Hey, in the meantime, though... Subscribe to Glide. Subs Glide. Isn't there like some sort of technique that, that's like used with the movement here? To get like... It's like you hold up and right at the same time against a wall or something. I've seen it done in genocide runs, and it technically counts as like... more movement or whatever, but... I don't know if you can do it on like an analog stick or like a Joy-Con. Oh, I think you have to hold like left and right at the same time? Thanks to the split D buttons, that is most certainly doable. Oh. No, I don't think it's actually possible. Oh well. So you're gonna do the bait and switch, and instead of Sonic Unleashed, play Dark Souls Switch, right? That came out, didn't it? Guys, I still have no interest in Dark Souls. I, 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 I don't care anymore. But yeah, I heard that did come out. Also, hey, Glide. Sorry, it's no biggie. I mean, it's not in the rules, so there's nothing stopping you. Okay, so Glide swooped in. Let's applaud. You clap really sloppily, Glide sucks up your place like a vacuum cleaner. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh! Flawless. Okay. So one more applaud, and then nothing. Glide is becoming addicted to your praise. So then you cut them off. And then they go into, I don't know. <laughs> they. What's not relapse? What's the word I'm looking for? <gasps> I got distracted by words. <laughs> Well, now I better think of that word so it's worth it. Withdrawal! Hmm. God damn it. Well, stay determined. Listen, though. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm gonna go back and try again. We've certainly saved the time uh, with the ruins and whatnot. Oh, I don't think I can do this anymore. Although, maybe I can. Oh, I think I totally can. Hmm. Hmm, maybe not. This is like really extra, but I want to see if I can do it. Uh huh. Oh, okay. ah! god damn it, I was so close too. So it comes out in one hour, huh? Hmm, can't wait to not play it in one hour. Just so you know, you've spent 20 minutes on this. On this. It feels like longer, honestly. 20 minutes is not bad. I thought it was like half an hour to 40 minutes. Which, you know, speaks volumes about what I'm willing to subject the chat to tonight, but... Listen, it's gotta be worth it! I've never done this before, I'm excited! Thankfully, it's not too much of a hassle to walk back here anyways. It's just walking in a circle that's the bigger issue. Because this dude seems pretty chill, so most of the time we seem to be able to flee. If not all of the time, I don't think there's been a single time we haven't been able to. This boss has already taken longer than the Broken Vessel. What was the Broken Vessel? Is that, is that like a Dark Souls thing? Yo, is that a Dark Souls reference? Thanks, streamer. <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. But, it, but listen, you guys will also be able to share in the joy of completing this. Like, um, uh, this will be a genuine achievement. Achievement unlocked! <laughs> guys, does, does Undertale have achievements on other platforms? I mean, I guess the first time I played this, it was like on Steam, so I guess I would know, but... 
I think I have them like turned off. Oh, so. Oh, from the Hollow Knight stream, that's right. It took longer than the Broken Vessel? Really? Damn, that's hard to believe. I should get back to Hollow Knight soon. I've been enjoying that. And some cool shit went down last time, too. I mean, this is kind of 2D Dark. They're both 2D Dark Souls. It's the Dark Souls of Dark Souls games. Hmm. I feel like last time we got them pretty early, so this might take a little while. Who knows? In the meantime, though, this is a great opportunity to put one Joy-Con down and take a fucking sip, babes. Oh, did I get a follow? Oh, who followed? If somebody can, like, bring up the name of who followed, then I'll, I'll do a <laughs> shout out. I'll do a little shout out. I have those, like, in OBS, so I don't know. I'm playing on, like, a separate display, so whatever overlay thingies appear, I don't see them. They're, unless it's, like, in my peripheral vision. Oh, shit. Uh, p p p p p Thanks for the follow. That's very kind of you. So how are you on the commission front, Griffin? You said you finished that Keaton piece, but has anything else happened since then? Holy viewer cat bat. Well, it's only eight. Meme era, only eight. Honestly, as far Undertale is like kind of one of the less popular streams usually, so that's very kind of everybody. Um, okay, glad time, baby. Uh, okay, listen. As much as I love you, chat, right now, it's glad time. And usually, focusing on chat in the middle of this battle has not been working well, so I gotta lock in, I gotta focus. We gotta get in the gang and play. Okay, these baby boys aren't so hard to avoid. It's, it's the when the big lads come along that trouble begins a brewing. Okay, so applaud one more time. Monkey, what else do you have to say? See, these lads, these are tougher to avoid and not good at this. And they're like at different speeds too. I'm so terrible at it. Okay though, so that was two applauses. Now we can do nothing. I don't even know if we've gotten this far in terms of knowing what to do. Okay, you do nothing. Glad Luke is disappointed you aren't paying attention. Eh? You forgot to clap! Uh-oh. Glad's getting upset! Oh no, but I might die here. <gasps> Ooh, that ended just in time. Glad is thinking of new slang for the word cool, like freakadacious. I think I might have to get, like, some... nice cream? Can you get, like, info about these... thingies while you're here, or... Do you just have to use them? Okay. I was thinking maybe I could like look at each item and get like a description of how much health I would get back, but this should be enough for now. How great I am. I think you have to like actively choose to ignore him, so if you use an item then it doesn't count. Which is unfortunate considering I kinda need to use these items <laughs> at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll follow up on that commission question. Um, sorry for nothing, Ollie's. <laughs> See, these are easier to avoid, I can manage this. Mostly. Blind as fancy flips. Uh oh. My poor candy. Wow, chicken my pecs. Keaton, that's enough. Well, this dude's a toughie. Especially in Pacifist, too. I don't think there's a way to get more HP without violence. <laughs> uh, okay, so nothing. We're good this time. We can do another nothing. Glad looks desperate for attention. Okay, it's ramping up. Hello, I'm right here! Oh, more small boys, hold on. This is it, Luigi! Glide is doing tons <laughs> tons of flips to get your attention. Hmm. Were it me, that probably would work, but we're gonna do nothing. You do nothing. Glide leaves to look elsewhere for praise. Yatta! 120 gold! Whoa, my. Well. <laughs> so much for needing to, you know, be frugal this run. That's like a, that's a lot. Anyways, to answer your commission question, yes, I've been commissioned again. Currently, I'm working on a pretty pricey piece, actually, involving three characters, but... I, I, I would rather not say who. Whomst. It's still Fire Emblem characters, but... Oh, I should have gone back and saved. What if I lose to this guy and then I have to go back to, <laughs> to Glide? I mean, in the neutral run, I didn't have a problem with this lad, but we'll see. This could be trouble. 
But yeah, I'm lining, it's like a flat color, so I'm lining that at the moment, so that should, that should be out of the schedule uh, fairly soon. It's the greater dog. Why have I never made any Keaton content involving this music? I feel disappointed in myself now. Hold on. Hold on. It's never too late. I keep getting mad at myself for not having Keaton content in OBS, but you know what? It changes now. Hold on. Where do I have, like... See, with my Korra memes, I have them all organized, but the Keaton ones are all over the place. This is a good one. Damn, the titties are on point, too! There we go. Now we're prepared. Now this is accurate. It's the greater dog! <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay. Well, it is the greater dog, so it would be great. Uh, let's see. Greater dog is not... A... <laughs> I love that it said it's here! Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Yo, this is just Fire Emblem Fates, though. That's him. Greater dog is watching him intently. Hmm. Beckon? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flicking a slobber into your face. <laughs> greater dog is seeking affection. Oh, well you know I had to do it to him. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. I'm tired. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Is it, is it gonna wake up? It's bre- oh! It was- it was like barking at the last second. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Play? You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. This is just a fucking <laughs> Corrin and Keaton RP now, but you still haven't pet enough. Pet capacity is 40%. <laughs> this is just how the skinship works in Fates. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Yo, if your man ain't like this, then drop him. Greater Dog is contented. <gasps> Spare! Let's check, though. Let's see if we can make a funny Keaton joke about check. It's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Guys, Keaton headcanon, maybe? Perhaps? Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> well, thankfully, I'll look at the little hyphen W hyphen face it makes. That's cute. Oh, <laughs> we can move Keaton away now. Or can we? Okay, see ya, Keaton. <laughs> I like how all options are pet. I think that's for the, um, the other dog. There are plenty of non-pet options there. That's not armor. His chest is just as solid as iron. Well, you know how I am about pecs. Okay, this should be a repeat as well. Oh, hold on. I put him away too soon. <laughs> Damn, now that's a trap. I would fall for that in an instant. Okay. I am about to do it. Keaton is aware of the situations around him and knows when to be serious. True. I'm glad we have some some Keaton heads in chat. And not just this Keaton head, who, who know a thing or two about this lad. Okay, Sans. Okay, Sans. We get it. Oh, hey, Snoodoodle. Welcome to the chat. I was too busy focused on being hilarious about Keaton, um, and didn't notice your arrival. But, hello! Hello! Guys? <laughs> okay, nope, nope. Nope. <laughs> ah, welcome to Snowden! We're here! Here is the Snowden. Yeah, I could use a save right about now. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah, let's do some shopping. Oh, I love the shop theme so much. 
That said, his habit of getting lost I find really endearing and cute. Oh, don't get me started on air. I like many things about Keaton, as you may be able to imagine. So, this is as much as I usually welcome discussion about Keaton, I'm gonna get very sidetracked because I'm in a mood for it. That said, um, what can we buy here? Some bicycles, definitely. Let's do it. Maybe like three of those? And a cinnamon bun? Sure. Take your time. And then again, we already did all the talking last time, so we're good to go. Should have went back to bed. Ew. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame you. I'm a little mad at myself for that as well. Yeah, we already talked to all these characters, so let's just let's just move on. Sure. Sure, why not? Then again, I find Yarn cute as well, and he needs hugs. Uh... Hum. I don't know. I don't know en enough about Awakening or Yarn to make a judgment on that. There's the library. Baby. Can we go here, like, right now? It's locked. Okay, so that's- I think that's, like, after... You know. Yeah, this. This is it, Luigi! At least the shop theme makes me feel better. The shop theme makes everybody feel better. It is truly a treat. Human. I already made some sick-ass jokes here last time, so I'm just gonna go on ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Kirim? Is, is Kirim like an, an Awakening character? I wouldn't know. Okay, so this time, we do not kill Papyrus. But Papyrus is a friend! Uh, so what do we have to do, actually, here? Oh, flirt, obviously. Do what? To flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. <gasps> I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities! I can- I have zero make redeeming spaghetti qualities. Um... I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you? Let's date later, after I capture you! <gasps> Uh-oh. We're not stopping him that easily. Flattery will only get us so far. You ain't that a Pokemon ass? I don't dead open inside. <laughs> but yeah, when someone said Kirim, I, I thought of a Pokemon at first. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Flirt further? Oh no! Okay, let's date later after I capture you. So what now then? Kill Papyrus. What to cook for his date? Do we just keep doing this then, or...? You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Oh shit, okay. Good to know. Eat, Prosecco, sleep, repeat. I'm assuming... Prosecco? Prosecco? I'm assuming that's like a, ty like a type of noodle brand. Or a sauce, maybe? But, unfortunately, that ain't the kind of noodles that I fuck with, so I don't know. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. Uh, right, so acting won't get us any further, so what, do we fight? Darn it. So you're serious. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled- Okay, cool. Now we're cooking. Papyrus dabs. Oh no. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. Oof! He has ears? I guess he does. You're blue now. What if you just, like, got some big-ass Mr. Potato Head ears? Oh, now it's slapping. What happens if you flirt now, though? The Pirates is too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay. It's weird controlling the jumping by pressing up on the... like, an, on an analog stick. But I guess that is kind of how I play Smash, so... The Pirates dabs empty tea brand Bishy Cream behind his ear! Ew. Uh, I guess we keep fighting? I don't know. Right, because we did fight him last time, but he, like, spared us at the end. What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Oh, Papyrus. You silly skelly. Sour, please. <laughs> MDT brand anime powder behind his ear. You'll regret that purchase. He's got to be punished for that. Okay, special attack. You murdered him, remember? I did, but like, 
we're trying to spare him now, so I don't want to, like, empty tea brand cute juice <laughs> behind his ear. These are some great brands. My brand. Please don't hurt this boy. I have no choice. You know I had to do it to him. You know, chat. Oof! <gasps> He's done it to me! Hmm. Yeah, let's use a bicycle. You eat one half of the bicycle. You always have a choice. But not here! <gasps> Ooh! Nice! Beauty yogurt! Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, you just gotta, like... Each of these things are, like... These, he's not picking random dialogue or random attacks. Every time you... F Paparis realizes he doesn't have ears! There you go, chat. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, you just have to keep fighting him and it'll advance the dialogue or whatever. So you just have to keep fighting him and then eventually he'll just stop and give you the option. If I recall correctly from our last neutral run attempt... Oh no. Objective, survive. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Oh no! Doesn't he get bonked when he's about, uh, about how- uh, something at, Yeah, you don't have to like get his health down all the way. You just have to wait for the dialogue to like do its thing and you're good to go. <gasps> Uh-oh. Papyrus whispers. <laughs> okay. Uh, where's that other half of that unicycle? Thanks. You eat the unicycle. You recover the 11 HP. Yeah, this dialogue's still all the same, pacifist or not. I think Sans' scolding might end up being a little different, but we'll see. The Paris is preparing a bone attack. No, we need to fight. He has eyes, though, when attacked. Fair enough. That's some important lore. The bone lore, Luigi. <gasps> it's a bone, Luigi! Oh, no. Uh, I guess another bicycle. A beater. Oh no, I guess I've... Is that new? I don't think he thought I liked him earlier. But maybe, maybe, maybe he did think that, I don't know. Oh shit, they're moving now. They're on the move. But Pyrus is trying hard to play it cool. I'm not cool with my health at like this low of a level. I'm trying to play it cool. Ah, uh, I guess. Well, they're worth 11. I could probably hold out another turn. Let's try it. Someone like you is pretty rare. No, I think he was saying this stuff last time, too. I think we're fine. To just skip it! Papyrus is considering his options. Okay, now let's get the unicycle. Good thing I bought a bunch of these before jumping into this. I wasn't expecting to struggle with this as much as I have. And dating might be kind of hard. I don't know, some of these feel new. I guess someone would have to do, like, a direct comparison to find out. <gasps> He's rattling his bones. He's doing the mating ritual. You can just check him repeatedly? Well, too bad. I want to slap him. <gasps> Oof! But Paris is trying hard to play it cool. Yeah. Who cares? Give up! Wait a second. Do we have to, like, resume flirting with him now? I guess I do have to take a bit of a different option than the last time, so... Yeah, it just says he's considering his options now, so maybe we have to do, to do something else now? Uh, let's bust out one more of these bicycles, and then we'll check that out as an option. Oh no, now he's busting out the special attack. Okay. Oh, thank you for the bit. Unreal Fears 159. Give up or face my special attack. You know, the one bit. It's a good amount associated with it, though, so that's valid. <gasps> oh! oh no. Chibs Griffin with a broken glass bottle. Hey! Chat's turning on me as I've turned on Papyrus. Oh, here it comes. Here comes Pac Man. Oof! I thought I got that one! Please! Yeah, so what happens if you, like, flirt now? Yeah, okay, so it still says he's too busy fighting them, so the playing at cool thing is unrelated. Not too long now. Ugh. Oh, this dude's a jumper, you can tell. 
it smells like bones. Mm. Bones. Man, I'm really chewing through these unicycles, huh? Actually, speaking of Pac-Man. What do you mean, speaking of Pac-Man? Oh, it's my last chance. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm very bad at this for, for, you know, an early boss. I guess I gotta get good. I can't, like, brute force it with just, like, a bunch of HP anymore. I gotta actually be thoughtful about the HP that I have. Uh, I guess we'll keep fighting, huh? I ordered a Pac-Man Amiibo from Best Buy like a month and a half ago because they put it back up for sale, and I forgot and almost had my bank account overdrawn for Pac-Man. Pac-Man brings its porter to financial ruin. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! You hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Uh-oh. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <laughs> okay. This sounds about on pace, so we're good to go. The order just charged and shipped yesterday. I think I have a Pac-Man Amiibo, don't I? Fellas, back when Amiibo were like... a new thing, and they were coming out with like the Smash Waves. Y'all remember that? I don't know if anybody was like... into Amiibo at the time when they were like, Bro, <laughs> it's Keaton again! Cool! Dude! <laughs> this is the same shit that happened last time, but it's still good. <gasps> bones! No bones about it. Actually, many bones about it. <gasps> Remember the Amiibo 90s? One more bone, though. Damn. I feel like I did better on that gauntlet than I did the last time, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Isn't that Toby Fox or something? It's it's Toby's Fox sauna? It's well they're canines, fuck it, it counts. Well it's clear you can't defeat me. It, yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Oh <gasps> little old me? We did it! World peace achieved! I'm glad I didn't get into Amiibo too much. They're so expensive. Ugh. I'm kind of... I'm, I kind of want to get back into them with, like, Smash Ultimate, because they're coming out with, like... I, I, most of them, I think you're just going to be doing reprints. But, like, there's going to be, like, some new fighters coming in, too. So, like, the Wolf Amiibo, I definitely want. Oh, a K. Rule Amiibo was, would be so cool, too, though. Aw, oh, man. I definitely am going to end up expanding my, my Smash line, for sure. Uh... You know, if I can fucking afford it. Gotta keep drawing those dicks. Anyways. -hoo -hoo. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? <laughs> what a loser. Let's be friends. Papa, Papa Paris is a friend. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie! We haven't even had a first date! And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal chopping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass... Through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. You've said it. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> hey, Sans, remember the time I was on Family Guy? <laughs> my rule for the Amiibo is if the game the character is from isn't a contender for my top 10 games of all time, they aren't worth getting bought. Well, I'm, I'm glancing back at my shelf right now at, I don't know, Lucario, Sonic, uh, what... What's like, 
a Smash amiibo that I have from something that I don't like. I don't think I have any amiibo like that, actually. I kind of just got amiibo for the characters that I play as slash like, so I think I'm fine. Um, that said, let's see where we are progress-wise at the moment. Um, ooh, yeah, okay, here's something we can do. Let's go up here. I think I'm gonna save, like, the whole Papyrus date thing for next stream, but in the meantime, there might be something we get if we go up here. Let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't, I don't think we have it. Ah. I think this is the spot, though. Basically, when you create a save file, in the data for that save file, there's, like, a certain number from, like, 1 to 255, I think, that's, like, randomly generated, right? And it's assigned to that file, um, or to that save data, right? Uh, and I think, like, half of those numbers count as a trigger, but I guess when I created save data for this game, I got one of the ones that didn't count. But basically, you know what? Hold on. Let me show you what happens here, actually. Let me show you. Okay, kids. Let me show you. Is Lucario a top 10? He's not a top 10, but I like Pokemon, and I I, he, I do play as him, so it, it, I think that one's okay. Um, yeah, the wrong number song. Undertale, wrong number song. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me what I need to type in. I was kind of at a loss there. Wrong number song. Undertale, wrong number. Okay, perfect. Let's pull this up. Let's whip it out. Picture in picture. And just plop it here. That ought to do it. Yeah, so here's what's supposed to happen if you do end up with the correct identifier. No play, and then drag. There you go. Come on, gamer, walk forwards. See, your phone rings. <laughs> God, that's so good. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Also, that's the end of the video, so let's put that away. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out, or I'd pick up the phone. <gasps> Fellas, you know I had to do it to him. Look at the size of this lad, it's perfect. <laughs> you don't even like Smash, though? What do you mean? Competitive Smash, maybe. I know, like, someone, one of my friends, uh, that I went to high school with is, like, a, like, legit a competitive Smash player. He's, like, the number one person in, like, the locals in town. And he's, like, he's climbing the ranks, let me tell you. He's a good lad. Which is a shame, because whenever I want someone to play Smash Bros with, he's, like, oh, I'll play. And then it's, like, oh, goddammit. Because there's no chance against winning against that guy, because I'm, like, a very casual Smash player, as I'm sure my Smash Wii U stream, uh, has indicated. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Yeah, after the last stream of it. <laughs> I was gonna say just edit the file, but then I remember now that you're playing on Switch. Yep. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff you can get actually on... Maybe I'll do that as like a bonus stream. But uh, if you go on the PC and Mac version of Undertale, you can go into the game's files and actually modify those numbers that are assigned to the save file. And you can actually do, like, some unique modifiers that are impossible to get through normal means, but it'll actually, like, trigger some some crazy shit that you're, like, not supposed to ever come across during normal play. And this game has, like, a lot of really cool lore that you get from, like, digging through the, through the files and stuff. So, I don't know. I think everybody, like, already knows about that sort of thing, but I think doing, like, a stream of it could be really cool. Um, anyways, uh, as far as Undertale goes, that's probably a, a pretty good point, I'd say to leave things off. So in the meantime, uh, that was Undertale for tonight. Coming up next is Sonic Unleashed, so if that interests you, then please stay tuned. And you know what? I'd say that this is some... Well, you know what? No. All the music in this game slaps, and it would be some good BRB music, but alas, I have to switch the cables for my Xbox. Happy Easter, Xbox. Uh, okay, let's see. Y'all ever think about how the Xbox, like, makes a sound when you hit the power button? That's a small touch, but that's good. Anyways, please hold. <gasps> oh no, <laughs> Alan Wake is inside right now. You can tell by the way the disk drive panics. Please don't make me play Alan Wake, not again. <laughs> <laughs>